as with other identity categories, race and ethnicity intersect with other identity markers and produce together a specific social location and related forms of oppressions, such as violence, invisibilization, silencing and stereotyping. At a structural level, we can see a lack of access to resources, education and professional roles, as well as workplace discrimination. Through an intersectional framework of analysis, we can look at how, for example, the categories of gender and race are interdependent. By adopting this perspective, race is always gendered and gendered is always raced. Scholar Philomena Est introduces the concept of gendered racism. Gendered racism has an impact on the understanding of masculinity and femininity, as well as on the understanding of gendered forms of racial and ethnic discriminations. As a consequence, women are sexualized in different ways. African women are generally portrayed as promiscuous, Asian women as passive and exotic, and women who are from Islamic cultures as extremely oppressed. But women are not a homogenous category. The concept of racialized gender emphasizes racial and ethnic variation among people of the same gender. The concept of racialized gender denotes the idea that gender ideologies, expectations and norms operate differently across diverse racial and ethnic groups. In contrast, S concept of gendered race denotes the existence of gender differences within the same racial and ethnic groups. This means that the members of the same racial and ethnic group experience different expectations, ideologies and norms based on their gender. As such, the concept of racialized gender challenges the validity of treating racial and ethnic groups as a unitary categories. In the media and in society at large, whiteness is represented as the norm, as something neutral, normal and universal. Because of this, oppression is concealed and normalized through the creation of identities that are othered. Studies show that racialized women and men have been objectified and stereotyped in many different ways. They have been stereotyped as sexually deviant, as exotic, as submissive, as angry and as excess. For instance, some media stereotypes depict black women as angry and overly sexual, while black men are visible as professional athletes, criminals and entertainers. In news media, studies have found that there are some key tropes regarding how news adopt particular framing in terms of race. Usually the framing is about immigration, crime and terrorism. In addition, the news generally focuses on ethnic relations and cultural differences, which are often cut through by gender differences and stereotypes. For instance, about religious adware, food, family size or customs. This is a reductionist and inaccurate portrayal of people's lives and identities which result in one-dimensional media representations. Research that investigates black, Asian and ethnic minority audiences report how they wish that factual and fictional media would portray them in their complexity and in a credible way. Their frustration is with the media's inability to provide representation that portray their communities and cultures, their difficulties and diversity. The film industry is slowly improving, but is still lagging behind in terms of equality and diversity. Studies have found that women and minorities are still underrepresented. In 1,100 popular films from 2007 to 2017, only 29.3% of all speaking characters are from an underrepresented racial or ethnic group. In terms of directors, only 5.2% are black, or African-American, and 3.1% are Asian or Asian-American. Black or African-American women represent less than 1% of all directors, while Asian or Asian-American women are almost invisible. In terms of workforce in the broadcasting industry, the Ofcom 2018 Diversity and Equal Opportunities Monitoring Report sheds light on the UK context. Minority ethnic employees are underrepresented across content and creative roles, with only a 13% of the total workforce, while at the senior level they're only at a 8%. Indeed, the ethnic composition of journalists, 
their recruitment, professional training, on-the-job socialization and problems of retention are all important matters that need further attention. Let's hear now from Joanna Abbey, who runs a talent agency for individuals wanted to get into the media from diverse backgrounds. She reflects on her own race and class identity as a media professional and encourages other media professionals to think about their unique value. 